Hello and good evening. Uh, probably since the last time you saw the layout, there's been um, a significant amount of change. So I'll quickly run through that and then go through where we're going to go from here. So you may have seen the Valance in previous videos. It's now been uh, finished a bit more. So painted dark grey with some beading uh, to block out the light. Uh, and it really frames the layout nicely, I think. If I just come back a little bit. I think that looks lovely. Also, I've got back scenes. These are 13 inches above the layout surface, so uh, they run around against the roof there. And you can see the back scene is slightly taller. Um, this is a printed uh, self-adhesive vinyl back scene from ID Back Scenes. Um, and I haven't fixed it yet, just taped it up just to see how it looks, because I'm really pleased with the way um, the effect it gives. It looks a lot like the view from outside my house or from, from Pearly Station, which is where a lot of this is based on. Um, I just need to figure out a way to, um, to, to get it around this corner here uh, and also to, uh, to proceed this way. So I, I only bought one, uh, one pack, which is 10 feet. Um, what I think I should have done is buy two packs. So um, this board, this end here should, be in, should join into that far corner. So there's about a foot by a foot there-ish. That should go over there in that corner there and then there should be another pack which actually joins on here and the rest of this would be wasted um, I don't mind the way it is at the moment with the town in that back corner I think that makes sense given that that's where the station's meant to be um, just not sure how I'm gonna handle this side if I do it that way um, I'm sure there'll be something I can do um, yeah, this locomotive is a, is a multiple unit. It's um, one of the ones I, I bought about six months ago and I've just chipped and it works nicely. So there'll be a video on that. Um, and you can see I've got my coal hoppers here. Um, and this is a train of Mark I coaches. So these are... Uh, probably just coming out of the of the era that I'm really should be modeling um, they're probably more like late 70s than 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 mid 80s but it wasn't unknown um, and so uh, locomotive hauled services I'm, I'm hypothesizing would have would have come to my layout um, and I was thinking about that and it, it highlighted a problem with the track plan so if you'll notice, if I stand up and move back, there is nowhere on any of the, that, that board you can see there for a train to get around any wagons or coaches that it's brought onto the layout. What would be required is for a train to arrive and the passengers to leave and that train to reverse all the way down here, all the way down here, then maybe run around that way if there's enough space or in fact go all the way back off the layout have the traverser switch the tracks and then come all the way back on again. And that's just, although it's fairly common now for that kind of thing to happen, where, where there's no locomotive hauled services, it's all shuttle units using, uh, shuttle services using multiple units. Um, there's, there's no need to have runarounds, but I want to run around because I'm not a computer and um, with the freight services, like these wagons or the coal hoppers, they need to be delivered and shunted by a locomotive. Otherwise, I'm going to be reliant on the traverser for so much of my operation. I'll have to bring the, the wagons on like this and then bring them off onto the traverser and then bring them back onto the layout and then back onto the traverser. It's going to be a zigzag back and forth over here, constantly shifting this traverser around. By having the runaround, it means my locomotive can drive on, it can run around the, the train, shunt it in both sections, and then go and leave. So, that's the plan. Before I do that, I just want to enjoy the layout for a little bit longer um, before I start pulling things up. That's where we're at. So, I hope you enjoyed the update. 
I certainly think it's a, a real change to the layout, especially this section here. Um, there will be a, a large aggregate shed you know, somewhere around where the locomotive is now, um, covering about a foot where these wagons get pulled through uh, by the locomotive or propelled through and unload. So that would be a nice big scenic block there. So it could even be that I slice that section up and just move a section of that into that corner um, and then be then be reliant on huge trees and this big gravel building as a view block when inevitably something goes wrong with this join uh, and the sky doesn't look right. So that's the update. Um, I hope you liked it and I'll catch up with you soon.